for most of us, 10 degrees Celsius is stay at home under the blankets weather. But for kids in this town, it means summer's arrived. My name is Athena and I'm 13 years old. And I like it very much here. Athena and her friends live in Gunga Gluswak. It's a tiny town right here on one of the world's biggest islands, a country called Greenland. There's a lot of nature and stuff. In the summer, I go rowing and kayaking or whatever. And me and my friends, we go out camping and stuff. Greenland has a pretty misleading name because most of it is actually white, thanks to an enormous ice cap that covers 80%. The ice cap's been around since the last ice age, more than 11 and a half thousand years ago. But for the past decade, it's been fighting a losing battle against global warming. Global warming is what we call the gradual rise in the Earth's temperature. It's caused by higher levels of carbon dioxide and other gases in Earth's atmosphere. Since the 1950s, Greenland's average temperature has risen by one and a half degrees. Now that might not sound like much, but think about it this way. As you probably know, ice will stay frozen as long as it's kept at a temperature of zero degrees Celsius or colder. An increase of just one degree will start turning it into water. Well, that's what's happening in Greenland. In fact, scientists say every year more than 300 billion tonnes of its ice is melting into the ocean. This is Adam. He's a tour guide who visits Greenland's ice cap more than 300 times every year. He's managed to catch some pretty amazing things on camera, like this... ..and this... ..and this. It looks pretty cool, but it's actually a really bad sign. It's a fact that the ice sheet is melting and the landscape is changing. Look around, it's happening very fast. Adam says Greenland's even had some bushfires, which is pretty weird for a place covered in ice. But there's another side to this warming story in Greenland some people are actually happy about it. The warmer weather means warmer water, and that's meant the arrival of fish like mackerel that usually hang out further south. It's made fishermen here very happy. We see some, some higher stocks due to the climate change, or at least due to warmer sea temperatures. And then there are some just enjoying a reprieve from the cold. It would be nice if it would be warmer. Yeah, I could use some of that. <laughs> but while global warming might mean more fish in Greenland for a while, and fewer jackets, pretty much everyone does agree its long-term impacts will be really damaging, not just here, but around the world. And that's why experts say we should keep up the fight against climate change and keep countries like Greenland looking white and frosty into the future.